Sunny Trailer, and welcome back to the Attic Window Quilt Along. We are on week three, so if you're just now joining us or popping into this quilt along, you can find the Attic Window pattern in my book, A Life with Quilts. Attic Window is the last pattern in the book that we get to make together. Um, we have completed all of these this year, 2022, and that has been so much fun, and I'm so glad that you're making this quilt with me. So if you've missed the previous videos on week one, we've cut our fabric. On week two, there's a video tutorial for how to make the block. So if you need some help or guidance with those steps, you can go back and watch those videos. Week three, our task this week is to make another 14 blocks. Ta-da! Um, and as always on week threes of my quilt alongs, we are always talking about workflow. So some things to think about, work through blocks the way you want to work through blocks. If you want to sit there and work one at a time due to um, being a brand new quilter, due to having enough time to complete a, one whole block, or whatever reason you have for wanting to make your quilt one block at a time, do it. Um, you know, you can make this any way you want to. And it's important to find ways that work best for you. And that may be the best for you. So but the, the rest of this video is probably not for you if you like making one block at a time. But if you are somebody with limited time on your hands, or if you are making so many quilts like me, and you're quilting every day, and you want to have methods of a batch sewing and working a little bit more efficient, uh, then this video is for you. This one's all about workflow. And I'm going to show you how I uh, make all 14 blocks get completed all at one time by batch batch sewing, batch pressing, batch batching everything that to make these blocks. This one is a little bit different than normally because normally we're just having a serious amount of chain piecing and things like that. But with this, you really can't chain piece it, you know, because we we separated all of our pieces into those little units and, and bind clip clip them together. So um, and we want to keep them together because we've already done all that work and we don't want them getting mixed up. We've sorted them. We we don't want to get unorganized after all that effort. So I'm going to show you how I keep them organized, but also still balance batch so and um, it's not as uh, fluid as <laughs> chain piecing but you know it, it still gets the job done a little bit more quicker so that's what we're gonna talk about today so I'm just gonna randomly grab well not really randomly I'm grabbing 14 because we're making 14 blocks but I kind of want to make sure that I'm using all the different um, fabrics because I want them to, I want to be playing with all the fabrics. All right, so chain piecing these and keeping them together is kind of a no-go. So I've worked out a different way to batch and it's slower than the chain piecing, but it still batches it and keeps them together, which is important to me. Now, if keeping them if not keeping them in just the right order is not important to you, um, I mean, you kind of have to do it a little bit, but uh, you could find a different way of doing this. But this is just the way I'm using to uh, workflow through these. So I'm just kind of grabbing them one at a time and then grabbing that center square and the two short rectangles and then just sewing those on. And then take the whole thing, pin it back in place, and put it in the completed. And then th this is how I'm doing this. So again, you could find a different way to do it, but this, this way was working for me. So I'm going to stick with it. Plus, I don't want to have to organize them again, or I don't want them getting out of their place. And um, I don't know. It's still batching, and I still get to sit here for a period of time. Um, just sewing and then when I get up to iron I'll iron them all the same way so I'll just continue doing it like this I'm gonna show it to you when I have them all sewn all right so that was number 14 right there and then I've got that first sew, first sew on all of my blocks and then we're gonna go to the pressing mat okay so we're just going to do these the same way we sewed them I'm gonna give this a quick press too. So press to set our seams, just like I showed you last week. And then we push 
those seams towards uh, the rectangle units. And then when you get it pressed, just pop it back into its little place. And this is how uh, we will work through all of these. Um, just uh, batch on, batching them this way. It is still one at a time, but batching um, just feels more efficient. But if this isn't the way for you, don't even worry about that. Find a way that works best for you because, you know, we're all different. We all move differently and like different things. So no problem if this if this is not your uh, favorite way to work. Um, so I'm going to do all these real quick and then I will uh, pop back in uh, to this sewing machine. All right, so we do the same thing that we just did. Now we're sewing that next two pieces to complete the first round. So I'm gonna sew these on to each of the pieces and I'm gonna do this the same way uh, that you just saw me uh, do the first pieces is just like this. I sew the first two on. Clip it right into its place. That's how I'm going to complete all these blocks and that's my workflow. So I'm sewing uh, this round on, then I will go press all of them. Then I'll start with uh, the, the, the second round and sew the two short sides on it and then, and then I'll do that for all of them and then I'll go and pr press all of them and then I'll do that last piece around all the blocks and then I'll go and press all of them. So that that is, that is my workflow on, on these. So um, I'm gonna show it to you when I got them all done. Okay, they're all done. And they all got done at the same time, which is usually the way I like to work. I love that. <laughs> um, all right, so that wraps up this video. Okay, so we did it. 14 more blocks, bringing our total to 28. I think that that's half because we got to get to 56. So 28 blocks done. Yay. Um, and I am loving my blocks and I hope you're loving yours. Always pick fabrics that you love because you'll love working on the quilt the whole time. That's, that's my golden rule. Um, all right. So there will be winners on next Tuesday. So if you're watching this on Wednesday, when it comes out, the following Tuesday is when we do our giveaway. We're giving away some great prizes. I think there's two winners this time. All of these details and more information can be found in the blog post that accommodates this video. Um, all you have to do to be eligible for the prizes is to be following all of our sponsors and uh, posting your progress on Instagram using the hashtag attic window Q A L. I will see you next Wednesday. Mm -hmm.